Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane, and today we've got some amazing news. Canoe and NASA has begun a wonderful partnership, and this will be quite exciting. NASA has selected Canoe for Artemis Crew Transport Vehicle for the first human lunar landing in more than 50 years. Now, Canoe is known as a high tech advanced mobility company. Now apparently, Canoe's boxy form factor makes it perfect for transporting suit-up astronauts. So if everyone has been worrying about Canoe as a startup and their manufacturing, well, here's a push. Now the company announcing the partnership with NASA, wherein it provide crew transport vehicles for the upcoming Artemis mission that will bring humans back to the moon. NASA CCTV has a very specific mission transporting not only a crew of fully space suited astronauts but all their gears, supported personnel to the launch pad. So if you've seen the canoe concept, they're basically big boxes on wheels making canoe perfect for this task. Canoe has undergone many significant changes recently including decisions to move the company's headquarters from Torrance, California to Bentonville, Arkansas also home of Walmart. With a production facility in Pryor, Oklahoma, whether these will prove enough to get Canoe fully off the ground remains to be seen, but we'll keep fingers crossed. So far the Canoe CTVs are set for delivery in 2023 ahead of the first Crew Artemis mission, which is planned for May 2024. So this is a great thing for Canoe, just in case that wasn't obvious before, but it's absolutely incredible. Now I've got a quote right here from Chairman and CEO Tony Aquila. We're honored to transport the Artemis crew to the launch site for its first human lunar landing in more than 50 years. The selection of innovation technology by NASA to take a diverse team of American astronauts to the moon showcase a great commitment to sustainable transportation. Our customized vehicles are modular and upgradable throughout their life cycle with a high level of recyclability at the end of their life. Canoes made in America electric vehicles embody our nation's ingenuity and bold determination to reclaim global technology leadership of America and its allied nations. Now this news was published just around the 13th of April and I have to say looking at Canoes shares there wasn't any immediate cause for reaction. There wasn't any immediate price movement, any big price movements. In fact, after the news was published, on the 14th, the price immediately fell. The price immediately fell from $5.17 to as low as $4.98. So despite this good news, the price was not returning to all-time highs of $12.00. 89 of course it wouldn't that would be like doubling the market cap which means that people would have to invest an insane amount of money into this company just on that one belief that they're going to provide nasa with transportation vehicle but when you think about it it's not that big of a deal how many of these vehicles are nasa going to need for this mission not a lot not a lot at all it's not like they're ordering a hundred thousand vehicles or even ten thousand vehicles NASA would probably require 5 of these vehicles, maybe 10, maybe even less of these vehicles. And these vehicles are not being taken to the moon, nope, they're staying on earth, they're just to transport astronauts from one location to the launch pad, that's it, there's nothing else. And it's only a small number of vehicles, maybe 5, maybe 3 as we can see in the images. So naturally, it doesn't really affect the share price that much. But we're so used to any small amount of information affecting an electric vehicle price or an electric vehicle stock price in a major way. We're so used to it by now, especially with Tesla. We've been spoiled with Tesla. But unfortunately, for a company like Canoe, who hasn't fully developed yet, who is still struggling to meet demands, now don't get me wrong, I'm not just saying that this is a bad idea or this is not a good thing for a canoe, it's a good thing. This gets them more attention, it does get them more in the media and it does get people taking these vehicles a lot more seriously. Ultimately what canoe, la ultimately what canoe lacks is funding. With more funding I do believe they could build better factories and by thinking more long term essentially they will build for long term purposes. 
Instead of worrying about what they're doing today, they'll think about what they should be doing in 10 years time and they'll build towards that goal. You think more long term, it's almost a guarantee road to success. So, so far, that's the only news we've got on this deal with NASA and with Canoe. Like I said, it's not a big deal. It's not a huge news, but it is important for Canoe to get more for recognition in the EV space. But don't expect news like this to affect the price of Canoe in any major way. And if it does, it will probably take some time to affect the price in a slight way. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I will see you in my next video.